Today we celebrate St. Stephen of Marsaba. A do not disturb sign helped today's saint find holiness and peace. Stephen of Marsaba was the nephew of St. John Damascene, who introduced the young boy to monastic life beginning at age 10. When he reached 24, Stephen served the community in a variety of ways, including guest master. After some time, he asked permission to live a hermit's life. The answer from the abbot was yes and no. Stephen could follow his preferred lifestyle during the week, but on the weekends, he was to offer his skills as a counselor. Stephen placed a note on the door of his cell. Forgive me, fathers, in the name of the Lord, but please do not disturb me except on Saturdays and Sundays. Despite his calling to prayer and quiet, Stephen displayed uncanny skills with people and was a valued spiritual guide. His biographer and disciple wrote about Stephen, whatever help, spiritual or material, he was asked to give, he gave. He received and honored all with the same kindness. He possessed nothing and lacked nothing. In total poverty, he possessed all things. Stephen died in 794. This week on I-80 Philippines. The comparative analysis of the two paintings depicting how the ancient Filipinos were Christianized, which of these two paintings is true? The whole answer will be thoroughly discussed in our Trivia Express segment. Controversies regarding the first mass will be thoroughly discussed. The list of Christian holy days and obligations, which are declared a law, will be reviewed. And let's further know the man behind the declaration of the first mass anniversary as a special holiday. These and more on I-80 Philippines. Catch our latest episode within this week. Today on the program. The comparative analysis of the two paintings depicting how the ancient Filipinos were Christianized. Which of these two paintings is true? The whole answer will be thoroughly discussed in our Trivia Express segment. Controversies regarding the first mass will be thoroughly discussed. The list of Christian holy days and obligations, which are declared a law, will be revealed. And let's further know the man behind the declaration of the first mass anniversary as a special holiday. Hello, good afternoon, magandang hapon, mayang hapon, buenas tardes, Filipinas, Luzon, Visayas, and Benanao, IAT Philippines begins right now.
there are a series of posts coming from numerous anti-Catholic, Christianophobic, and Hispanophobic sects saying that ostensibly, Filipinos became Catholics through the use of violence and force. How true is this? Which picture is true? Let's begin with painting number one. Painting one was not in a Philippine setting, but rather a Mexican setting, where the battle between the native Mexicans and the Spanish conquistadores took place, that is, the Tigex War. As we look closely in the background of the painting, those are adobe houses which are made with thickened mud and commonly seen in Spanish-speaking countries like Mexico and Chile while most of the ancient Nipa houses in the country were only made of light materials like palm leaves for the roof and bamboos for the walls, foundations, ladders, and the like. The other thing is, the battle took place in the desert which definitely contradicts with the pre-colonial Philippines where majority of its places were forests. Painting too tells the real history where ancient Filipinos openly embraced the Catholic faith at the first mass in Limasawa Island, Southern Leyte, and first baptism in Cebu, where Raha Humabon or Raha Carlos in Christian name and his wife Hara Humamay or Juana in Christian name were the first baptized Catholics under the blessing of Fray Pedro Valderrama. It is also where Raha Carlos and Ferdinand Magellan had a blood compact and giving of images of Senor Santo Nino our Lady of Guadalupe and the Eche Homo as a gift of the Christian faith. Again, which of these two pictures is true? Well, you'll be the one to answer.
if the Catholic Church is the true church founded by our Lord Jesus Christ, how was the Philippines became a Christian country? This will be thoroughly answered through this argument written by a Catholic faith defender based from Southern Leyte, Brother Noel Bernales Risma. According to Brother Risma, his argument was divided into four points, namely, first, from Jerusalem, which is the capital city of Israel, second, from Jerusalem to Rome, which is now the capital city of Italy and also part of the Vatican City, third, from Rome to Spain, and then lastly, from Spain to the Philippine soil. Let's begin with Jerusalem, the capital city of Israel. Jerusalem is the place where Christianity was originated. This is when our Lord Jesus Christ appointed Peter to be his successor and to be the first Pope of the Church. This was written in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 16, verses 17 to 18, saying that Peter is the rock. And upon that rock, Jesus will build his church, and the gates of death will not be able to overcome it. On the other hand, the church was founded in Jerusalem during the Pentecost. This was written in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verse 47. And in the book of the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. The second point, from Jerusalem to Rome. Geographically, Rome is the capital city of Italy and part of the Vatican City. It was actually the will of Jesus that Christianity will be transferred to a place where people believe in his existence. These are the non-Jewish people. Although both Judaism and Christianity are quite connected with Abraham or the Abrahamic religions, these two religions always have a conflict regarding belief systems where Jews only believe in the Old Testament, particularly with the Law of Moses, or the Ten Commandments, where these were written in the books of Exodus and Deuteronomy. These are actually part of the first five books of the Bible named the Pentateuch, while Christians believe in both Old and New Testaments. The transfer of Christian religion from Jerusalem to Rome was written in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 10, and in chapter 21, verse 43. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 13, verses 46 to 47, and in chapter 23, verse 11, And in the Rome chapter 1, verses 7 to 8. The third point, from Rome to Spain. Well, at this point, Christianity was transferred from a European country to another European country. This was done through the efforts of St. Paul where his journey to Spain was written in his letters to Rome, chapter 15, verse 24 and 28. And in his first letter to Timothy chapter 2 verse 7. And the last point, from Spain to the Philippine Islands. At this point, Badarisma's written argument 
used both biblical and historical references. The defense behind this one is not all things were written in the Bible, and the specific verses can prove that one are the Gospel of John chapter 21 verse 25 and Hob chapter 8 verse 8. Through these written verses, we can furtherly conclude that the Protestants' Bible alone doctrine can be furtherly objected. To become objective is to argue using facts, while to become subjective is to argue using opinions. Additionally, Filipino historian Dr. Sonia M. Zaide quoted at her article, The Philippines, a Unique Nation, that Christianity is the greatest legacy of Spain to the Filipino people. And strangely, Christianity was Asian by both nature and origin and was founded in Palestine and Israel. Historically, the Philippines was named by Rui Lopez de Villalobos in honor of King Philip II. That's the reason why the Philippines was accidentally discovered or discovered by mistake by Portuguese explorer Fernando Magallanes or Ferdinand Magellan. His expedition began at Malhon or the present Omonhon and Tandaya, the present Samar. In accordance with Republic Act No. 4221 of 1965, Samar or formerly called as Samal, Ibabao, Sibabao and Tandaya is divided into three parts namely the northern part where its capital is Katarman, the eastern part with Borongan and the western part with Katbalogan. Moreover, Republic Act No. 5650 of 1965 was passed approving that the western part will bear the name Samar, not anymore Western Samar. Next, the Magellan expedition happened in southern Hiraite or Ceylani, the place named by an Italian explorer, Antonio Pegafetta, referring to the present Leyte. In accordance with Republic Act No. 2227 of 1959, the southern part of Leyte will have its separate province, having Maasin City as its capital, while the northern part will remain as Leyte, having Tacloban as its capital city. Third and Zubu, the present Cebu. This is where Magellan gave the Santo Nino image to Hara Humamai or Juana in Christian name and Raha Humabon or Raha Carlos also in Christian name on April 7th, year 1521, and where he died on the Battle of Mactan on April 27th of the same year. Cebu is quite rich with history, like for being the first capital of the country the place where the first baptism took place, the oldest province to be established since 1565, the oldest city being established, having the oldest road named after Italian explorer Christopher Columbus or Cristobal Colon and the like. More stories coming on your way when I-80 Philippines returns.
First, Republic Act No. 10966. Rodrigo Roa Duterte, the 16th President of the Philippine Republic, declared December 8th of every year a special non-working holiday in the Philippines. He signed the said law on December 23rd, year 2017, to honor the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. This act was originated in the Congress, passed by the House of Representatives on May 2nd of the same year and by the Senate on December 11th of the same year. Second, Republic Act No. 11163 This special working holiday, signed by the same President on December 20th, year 2018, shall be observed every last Monday of January of every year. The law said, It is the policy of the state that the government shall aid and encourage development of the moral character and spiritual foundation of the Filipino people. The law also added, As a predominantly Christian nation, and the largest Catholic nation in the Asia-Pacific, this act recognizes the value of the Holy Bible as the core of Christian faith. As seen on the original copy of the said Republic Act, this was passed by the Upper House as Senate Bill No. 1270 on February 5th, year 2018, and adopted by the Lower House as an amendment to House Bill No. 7544 on October 10th, year 2018. Among those who pushed for the law's passage were Senators Manny Pacquiao and Joel Villanueva. They are both born-again Christians. Statistics said around 93% of the Philippine population are Christians, the largest in Asia. Third, Republic Act No. 11370. This Republic Act was signed by the same President on August 8, year 2019. This was entitled as an act declaring September 8th of every year a special working holiday in the entire country to commemorate the Feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. As seen on the original copy of the said Republic Act, this was passed by the Lower House and the Upper House on December 10th, year 2018 and May 20th, 2019 respectively. Employees will benefit from this since they will receive a 30% increase in salary for that particular day, which is also the same benefits for a special non-working holiday. For a special working holiday, the school's offices and other establishments are open. And lastly, Republic Act No. 11373. March 31st of every year will be known as the First Mass Day in commemoration of the historic event. The said Republic Act was inked by the same president on August 22nd, the Feast of the Coronation. The law said, March 31st of every year is hereby declared a special working holiday in the whole province of Southern Leyte in commemoration of the first Mass held in Limasawa Island, province of Southern Leyte, to be known as the First Mass Day. The law also added that upon proclamation of the president, March 31st of every year shall be a special non-working holiday in the whole province of Southern Leyte. The law refers to the first Catholic Mass held in the country on March 31st, year 1521 in Limasawa Island. The Mass held on Easter Sunday was officiated by Father Pedro de Valderrama during the Magellan Expedition. Aside from Republic Act No. 11373, there were seven other laws declaring certain special working holidays in various places. This is also signed by the same president, Rodrigo Roa Duterte. And here are the following. Republic Act 11374, declaring April 5th of every year a special working holiday in Pangasinan to commemorate its founding anniversary. Republic Act 11375, declaring February 3rd of every year a special working holiday in Cabanatuan City and Nueva Ecija to celebrate its founding anniversary. Republic Act No. 11376, declaring May 3rd of every year a special working holiday in Santa Cruz, Marinduque to mark its founding anniversary. Republic Act No. 11377, declaring July 23rd of every year a special working holiday in Batangas City and Batangas to commemorate its founding anniversary. Republic Act No. 11378, declaring June 16 of every year a special working holiday and Bye Bye City Leyte, to be known as Bye Bye City Charter Day. 
Republic Act 11379 repealed two old laws that declared the Araw ng Dabaw holiday on March 16th. And lastly, Republic Act 11380 declaring September 9th of every year a special working holiday in Mina, Iloilo to commemorate its founding anniversary. More stories coming on your way when I-80 Philippines returns. June of year 2019, the year of the youth, and the year before the COVID-19 pandemic took place, the I-80 Philippines went to the historical and beautiful Limasawa Island in Southern Leyte. Before we proceed to our destination proper, we prepared our own provisions first. The food, the bags containing our extra clothing and other personal belongings, the service vehicle to use, the amount of money to be used for the motor bank affair, for the room rental, for the entrance fee, and the like. 
While we had our way coming from Barangay Inigian in Thomas Opus Municipality to our destination proper, we crossed first the following municipalities located in Southern Leyte. By the way, we rode a service vehicle owned by Kuya Ringo. When our service vehicle arrived at the Motor Banca port located in Padre Burgos Municipality, we rode a Motor Banca having its navigation to the Limasawa Island. While the navigation is ongoing that day, we had a picture taking inside the Motor Banca. And we saw the ocean, clear like a crystal. As you can see the ocean within this video, the ocean has no amount of garbage floating. When IAT Philippines finally arrived at the said historical island, we rested first inside the Salonia Beach House where we spent our vacation for two days and one night. Afternoon of that day, we had our way to the Island Lagoon Resort, located in the Barangay San Agustin. At the top of it, you can see their iconic solar light tower. We had our moments there. In order for you to successfully swim at the crystal-like ocean, you're going to walk first at the risky stairway. As you can see in the video, the stairway is made of cement and bamboo woods. Again, we enjoyed our moments there by swimming at the crystal-like ocean and having a picture-taking. Then we had our next trip to the historical First Mass Monument. More stories coming on your way when I-80 Philippines returns.
ten pep ten hundred twenty one when Philippines was discovered by Magellan. They were sailing the night across the big ocean until they saw a small Limasawa island. Magellan landed in Limasawa at noon. The people met him very welcome on the shore. They did not understand the speaking they had done. Because Castilla get at waray waray man. When Magellan landed in Cebu City, Raja Humabon met him. They were very happy. All people were baptized and built the Church of Christ, and that's the beginning of our Catholic life. When Magellan visited in Mactan to Christianize them everyone, but Lapo Lapo met him on the shore and dragged Magellan to go back home. Then Magellan got so mad, ordered his men to come up lads. Mactan Island we could not grab. Cause Lapo Lapo is very hard Then the battle began at dawn Bolos and spears versus guns and cannons When Magellan was hit on his neck He stumbled down and cried and cried Oh mother, mother, I am sick Call the doctor very quick Doctor, doctor, shall I die? Tell my mama, do not cry. Tell my mama, do not cry. Tell my mama, do not cry. That's the end of Magellan in the island of Mactan long time ago, ladies and gentlemen. Today, March 31st, is the anniversary of the first Catholic Mass, which took place in the island of Limasawa in southern Leyte. Amid the declaration made by the National Historical Institute or the NHI, National Commission for Culture and the Arts or NCCA, and the University of the Philippines or UP on April year 1997, Debates and arguments regarding the exact location where the first Mass was took place is still existing. To further answer this undying debate, please stand by as we are about to present you all the controversies behind the history of the first Mass and then to be followed by some rewind video blogs showing you all our experiences having our last moments in Limasawa Island.
the argument written by Pablo U. Amascual III will be divided into four parts. The Truth About the First Christian Mass in the Philippines Written by Pablo U. Amascual III Pablo III's argument was divided into four parts. And let's begin with the controversies. The second part, the evidences for Masao. The third part, evidences for Limasawa. And the last part, the summary and the conclusion. More stories coming on your way when IAT Philippines returns. Thanksgiving unceasing, our heart. 
rejoicing, grateful for the light of faith received in Lima Sawa. With Mary we sail as faithful disciples of Christ. Disciples of Christ. Faithful disciples of Let's begin with the controversies. The Butuan tradition was the belief that Magellan landed in Masao, Butuan and celebrated the first mass in that area. This was the prevailing belief during the 17th to 19th centuries. The monument was erected in year 1872 near the mouth of Agusan River. To the immortal Magellan, the people of Butuan, with their parish priest and the Spaniards resident therein, to commemorate his arrival and the celebration of the first Mass on the site of the 8th day of April 1521, erected in 1872 under the district governor Jose Maria Carvalho. One source of the belief was an eminent Jesuit historian, Father Francisco Colin the author of Labor Evangelica. On Easter Sunday, in the territory of Butuan, the first Mass ever offered in these parts was celebrated and a cross planted. Another source of the belief was Francisco Combes, a fellow historian and a Jesuit priest. He wrote Historia de Mindanao y Holo. Combes wrote about the planting of the cross and Magellan claiming the islands for the kings of Spain in Butuan, but he never mentioned about the mass. Francisco Colin and Francisco Combes both wrote that Magellan went to Limasawa and Butuan, but with different versions. According to Colin, Magellan went to Butuan first, then to Limasawa, then finally to Cebu. While for Combes, Magellan landed first in Limasawa, then he went to Butuan, then back to Limasawa, then off to Cebu. As we can see here, the difference between these two arguments are the use of transitional devices. Both Colin and Combes exercised strong influence over other writers regarding the site of the first mass. Among them, Giovanni Francesco Gemelli Carreri, the writer of Giro del Mundo, John Foreman, the writer of the Philippine Islands, Father Juan de la Concepcion, the writer of the 14-volume history of the Philippines, Father Jose Burniol, the writer of a history of the Philippines, and Father Joaquin Martinez de Zuniga, the writer of Historia de Filipinas. Where did Colin and Combes get their information about the Magellan expedition? The answer? The most probable source were the Spanish survivors of the expedition. When did the shift of opinion to Limasawa came about? The answer, during the late 19th century, after the publication in year 1894 of the full and genuine text of the Chronicles of the Expedition by the Italian Antonio Pegafetta. Trinidad Pardo de Tavera wrote an article in 1895 about the mistake of the Butuan tradition. Father Pablo Pastels, a Spanish Jesuit priest, also noted the error in one of his footnotes to the updated edition of Collins' Labor Evangelica. Emma Blair and James Alexander Robertson translated the Pegafeta text in English in their collaborative work, The Philippine Islands, consisting 55 volumes. 
However, despite the shift of opinion, many historians, especially those from Mindanao, still insist that the site of the first Christian mass is in Masao, Butuan, Agusan del Norte. Dr. Sonia Zaide is one such historian. The second part, the evidences for Masao. All primary documents identify the place as Masawa. Masao is closer to the name given by the sources. Limasawa has four syllables and starts with different letters. Kulambo was the Raha of Masao. Siago was the Raha of Butuan. Both places are located in Agusan del Norte, northern Mindanao. Balanghais were mentioned in Pigafetta's account. Butuan is the site of nine excavated Balanghai relics. No Balanghai has ever been uncovered in Limasawa. There was mentioned of abundance of gold in Mafawa. There are many gold mines in northern Mindanao, including Butuan. The two rahas were gold earrings and tooth filings. Pigafetta mentioned about the natives serving the Spaniard Sago. The ingredients for making sago can be found in northern Mindanao, not in Limasawa. The third part, evidences for Limasawa. Sailing southwards across the coast of Ceylani, the present Leyte, they turned southwest to a small island called Mathawa. From Mathawa, they sailed northwards again towards Ceylani. The route from Momonhon was toward the west-southwest between four islands, Fenalo, Hiyunangan, Ibuson, and Abarien. The maps of Pigafetta show clearly that Mathawa and Butuan are two different places. One king from Mathawa, the other was from Butuan. That island of his was called Butuan and Kalagan. While those kings wanted to see one another, they both went to hunt in that island where they were. Some historians alleged that during the seven days in Mathawa, the Spaniards went to Butuan to celebrate Mass, then returned to Mathawa, after which they went to Thebu or Cebu. The accounts of Pigafetta did not narrate the departure from Mathawa until April 4th in year 1521. The area of Masao Butuan is located at the mouth of the Agusan River. If it was the site of the first mass, why was there no mention of the river by Pigafetta? After Magellan's death on April 27th, year 1521, the expedition exceeded to Butuan and the river was mentioned then. Magellan asked one of the two kings why there was little food there. The king replied that he did not live in that place, except when he went hunting and to see his brother, but that he lived in another island where all his family were. Magellan asked the two kings where to get more abundant supplies of food were available in the island. If they were in Butuan, they would have been abundant supply of food but they were in Limasawa where food was limited during the hunting trip. One of the kings asked Magellan for assistance to work on harvesting rice. The request for help was made to work faster so that the king can leave with the Spaniards to Cebu or Cebu. This was done on April 2nd and 3rd. The Legazpi expedition reached Mathawa or Mazawa by rounding the island of Panaon but were repelled by hostile natives. They tried to go next to Butuan but they were forced by winds to Bohol. Later, a small group of Spaniards managed to go to Butuan using a small vessel. And the last part, the summary and the conclusion. Both sides of the issue allege that the Magellan expedition reached the two places, Limasawa and Butuan. 
both sides agree that the first mass was held in Mafawa or Mazawa. Evidences for Masao came from unknown primary sources. Evidences for Masao are weak and logical foundation. The evidences for Limasawa came from two reliable sources. There are more evidences in favor of the Limasawa claim. The National Historical Institute or the NHI, the National Commission for Culture and the Arts or the NCCA, and the University of the Philippines or UP have officially declared in April year 1997 the site of the first Christian Mass is in Limasawa. So, to further conclude, the first Christian Mass was held in Limasawa, Southern Leyte. was discovered by Magellan They were sailing the night across the... Good noon everyone! Good noon! Welcome to Lazarus Ryan First Mass in the Philippines Mass 31, 15, 21, Lima, Sawa, Southern Liti To those myself, I'm Sam Espinosa Galvez A true god of Lima, Sawa, Turism and Historian How did Lima, Sawa get its name? The king of Lima, Sawa was Raja Colombo then Rafa Lambo has five wives in every barangay. Okay, namely number one, Raina Triana. Ngayon at is barangay Triana. Second, Raina Pujing her from barangay Magallanes. The one at a big cross planted top of the mountain that is Tribu Pujing, which means to barangay Magallanes. Derived in the name of Fernando Magallanes or Ferdinand Mancina in English. Number three, Ngasawa, Raina Ujaja or Pisang Chwari. A very nice place living area for the foreigner, San Agustin, you have Lagoon Beach, dito na mo. Dito on beach, Parula or Tilawi Beach, bago pang na-develop. Ikaapat na asawa, si Raina Maanyag. Yung pantala natin sa Tria na yung duungan, Maanyag, San Bernardo na ngayon. Panglima, si Raina Banday, or municipality of Lima, Sawa. When Magellan, dito sa Lima, Sawa Island, was the king of Lima, Sawa, Colombo. Como si Liyama esta isla? What's the name of this island? This one opinion has five words answered Lima Sawa But si Nola Tipiga Pita A writer of Magellan in the book That one Ma Za Wa We can say that one in the book of Cyprus Berlin, German, Latin America Makita natin sa internet Ma Za Wa When Magellan dito sa Lima Sawa Island Nung una layag Magnetic kumpas sa barco In coordinate of 9 degrees 52 minutes with the ship Lima Sawa Island. Sorry natin Botwa na talo ang Botwa during the controversy hearing na nalo ang Lima Sawa dito sa Kaiko Commission. The other one, um, Lima Sawa submitted 13 evidences. Ang Botwa ni this is Pablo Masqual Commission. Then ang result in its I, National Historical Institute, NCCA, National Commission Culture and Art, UP, the city of the Philippines have declared officially last April 1997 that the site of the first Christian mass was held in Lima, Sawa Island, not in Botuan. He declared this a Republic Act 2022. Lima, Sawa declared as a tourist zone in Southern Liti. Ngayon, he declared in Duterte as a holiday. Every matter to one in Southern Liti, holiday na tayo maraming projects in Duterte, pantala natin. 150 million is still going on. Circumference Road, 101 million still going on concreting. Solar natin tapos na 55 million. Din ang ating malaking cross, the second cross planted by Magellan, mag-elevator na tayo sa itaas at gibulkan na tayo pa baba this coming 2021. Preparation for the coming of Santo Papa 2021 here in Lima, Sawa Island, King Centennial. More stories coming on your way when IAT Philippines returns. All people were baptized and
built the Church of Christ, and that's the beginning of our Catholic life. When Magellan visited in Mactan to Christianize them and this point, let yours truly present you all my Rewind video blogs showing our experiences of our last moments in Limasawa Island.
to struggling. So, kaya pala. Kaya pala ang papayat. Ang mga tagad yung sitasyo. Tingnan nga naman, no? This is a good place for exercise. So, ito po yung naging last day namin dito. Wait na. Nahirapan akong umakyat dito. Sa Limasawa Island. Dito pa rin sa side ng Lito. Ya? Ibat tak? Allah. Ayo bos, nak tanya tentang tawa. Ucap jujur. Nak tanya tentang tawa. Ucap jujur. Pati itong mga kasama ko sa likod Nahihirapan na rin Nahihirapan na rin Nahihirapan na rin sa pagkakyat Papunta Ang layo ka pala Actually, ito mag-anak ko lang yung hindi na tinak ko. Akala ko may ahas dito. May phobia pa naman ako sa ahas. Shadow is real na. Nakal, mababawakan na nga kami ng ilang carbs dito. Laka gaming ito Makapagsigo ko na bilang isang Productive one Kasi nga Pinagpagilisan kami Mukhang Mababawasan nga kami ng ilang cards dito Ayun kasama, hinahabol ng baka. <laughs> Kasi nga, nakasuot ng pula. <laughs> Alam niyo naman yung baka, kapag makakita ng pulang gamit, gaya ng sinuot ng damit, hahabulin yung taong may gano'n.
nice view. Ada apa
that would be all for our today's vlog. For more videos, please simply visit the official Facebook fan page of IAT Philippines and please subscribe our official YouTube channel and tap the bell button so that you can be notified for our latest posts and updates. This has been yours truly, VJ Pendleton Thompson. Yes, you heard it right and you see me right. Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, we're ready for our next adventure. Hasta la vista, cuídate!
left his land in search for grace and souls. He spread God's words with lips entire. He is a servant of the Lord. Oh, say, and oh, so faithful child. What's left behind? Be and trust the young to your watch for care. Walk with them and never leave the side.
mga tao ang magduol Busa, asa pa ka, sibuna ta O higala, manuroy ta Di sa gasa, dali na, dali na Kita pa, kailit yung kamay, kung may manong